Meredith Morakovic alongside Jack Curry. Jack, a pretty wild day here at GMS. A lot of news came out. The position players working out for the first time. And one thing when we walked in the clubhouse this morning that was obvious was Aaron Judge's name was not listed in a hitting group. Aaron Boone would later say when he addressed the media that he was dealing with a little bit of a cranky shoulder. He did have an MRI. He said there were no changes structurally really with the shoulder uh, from past MRIs. But still, as a Yankees fan, should you be concerned? I don't think you should be concerned, but I think you want information. You want to know what's going on. Aaron Judge is the best player on the team. First full squad workout, and there were limitations to what he was able to do out there. Now, he still was out fielding. He was still throwing the ball, didn't participate in hitting. Boone called it minor. Judge said the same thing, said some soreness and crankiness because he started hitting at home in California in early November. So you keep an eye on this. It's Aaron Judge. You want him to be 100%. You want him to be out there on the field as often as possible. The last two years, he has struggled with some injuries, so the Yankees are hoping that this is absolutely minor. He won't play in the first spring training game, but Boone did say that he will ramp up activities soon and be ready to play soon. They're definitely using an extreme amount of caution with this. Aaron Judge had been down here for a couple of weeks. He said that it started uh, a few weeks ago, and they said time is on your side right now. You have all the time in the world. It's not important that he's there for the first spring training game on February 22nd, which, mind you, we will have on the Yes Network. It is important that he's there opening day. So likely doing the right thing and taking it slowly for Aaron Judge is just something that I know you and I will be monitoring the rest of the spring training. And I think the most important thing is what you said, Meredith. Time is on their side. This is not March 21st when this happened. But you also look at the injuries that the Yankees dealt with last year, 30 players on the IL. So you do not want to see them starting out with another core player having to deal with an injury. Taking what Boone and Judge said, they're calling it a minor thing. So until it becomes more than a minor thing, We'll continue to call it a minor thing as well. And that is his right shoulder. He has not thrown as well uh, today, but but we're thinking that in the next couple of days mm -hmm. he'll be ramping that up. Also, a huge theme today, no surprise to really anyone around Major League Baseball. Aaron Judge was asked about the Astros and their role cheating in 2017, and he had some interesting things to say. We heard from a very candid Aaron Judge. He, he said he was upset. He was frustrated. In the offseason, he wants to follow baseball news to hear some of his buddies signing as free agents or some of his peers and where are they headed. And he said it was all about the Astros sign-stealing scandal, and that frustrated him. He absolutely believes that the Astros cheated throughout the 2017 season. That includes the postseason, so that impacted what happens to the Yankees. And said, listen, we might have gotten cheated out of a trip to the World Series, and that's a hard thing to stomach. He also talked about, I thought very interestingly, Meredith, he quoted you, Darvish, who had said something about if you win an Olympic gold medal and you're found out that you have cheated, they take the gold medal away. So there was an inference. Do you mean that they should take the World Series trophy away? And he said, I don't think it has any value. They didn't earn it. They cheated to get it. He also deleted a tweet when the news first right. came out, the commissioner's report, that congratulated Altuve uh, for winning the MVP. He deleted it. He addressed that and said it just didn't hold the same weight that it did when he originally posted that. Right, and he said that, but he wouldn't go and really touch the Cody Bellinger comment. Cody Bellinger came right out and said Altuve stole a world, uh, an MVP from judge said I agreed with a lot of what Bellinger said I'm not going to specifically say that about the MVP and then in typical judge fashion kind of made a little bit of a joke about it said I need to put up such better numbers that there won't be any uh, thought in the voters head not to vote for me but overall Meredith that was as candid and as angry as I think we've ever seen judge and the other theme here has been that's the past you can't change it anymore you need to move forward but judge acknowledged that this is going to be difficult to move forward from in the sense that it's going to keep coming up every time somebody plays the Astros. Every day it seems like more information is trickling out or somebody else is speaking and you wonder if this is ever going to come to an end this season. There's so much anger from the players. There's so much venom. This is unlike anything we've ever seen. You go back to the steroid scandal and players were hesitant to talk about steroids at all. They didn't even want to say anything about somebody who might be using, you know, someone who was caught using. This is a laundry list of players, marquee players, day after day, who are letting you know what they think about the Astros, how angry they are. 
yes, these players all belong to the same union and they're brothers under that umbrella, but right now it's 29 to 1. There are 29 other teams that are really angry with what the Astros did in damaging this game, and Aaron Judge was simply the latest marquee name to let the Astros know what he felt about how much they cheated. Brett Gardner echoed those sentiments as well. He spoke a little bit before Aaron Judge, and just the frustration is evident. It is evident, and there is nothing you can do, but I don't think you ever forget something like this. I tried to draw an everyday layman's parallel to Judge and said, if, if, if someone absolutely stole a deal from you in the business world where that deal was yours and it was taken off because someone cheated it from you, I don't think you ever get over that. I think that damage is irreparable. And that's why I think with the Astros, this is not just a 2020 story, Meredith. I, I, think, this lingers, I think this lingers for years. Anything else you took away from today? Just, just interesting to see the whole squad here mm -hmm. and to see everyone getting going. Oh, I'll t I took this away from today. Aaron Boone told us Jay Happ will pitch on February 22nd. Cole will pitch on February 24th. So I have my little notebook. You did a little math. I have my okay. notebook. I did the math five day. And if you do a five day countdown, that will take you right to March 20th. That will be his final spring training start. That would mean he'd have an extra day of rest and we'll pitch the season opener on March 26th. Boone smiled and said he didn't really want to discuss that right now, but guess what, Meredith? I, I win this one. I ran into Garrett Cole. Oh, and I, there you go. I ran it past him. And he said, Boone said that I'm pitching on February 24th. Wanted to make sure the, the manager had announced that I said he did. Will you stay on a five-day rotation? And Cole said, absolutely. So there you go. If you want to, if you want to look at my tweet, I think it's 24, 29. March 5, 10, 15, 20, and then March 26. Those are your Garrett Cole starts. I do appreciate you doing that math, and I'm sure Yankees fans that are coming down here to Tampa are now going to probably try to plan to come on yes. one of those days. But was there any doubt in your mind, even though it's not announced and it probably will not be announced for a while, that Garrett Cole will likely be the Yankees opening no, day starter? No, no doubt, on. no doubt. I wanted to just be able to map out those days just for our own edification, mm -hmm. I think there are a couple of yes games in the mix there. I definitely think the 29th is a yes game. I have to see what other games uh, Cole might be gracing our airwaves. We're certainly going to circle those. And before we get going, I like it. Nice work on the uh, little, uh, the little cuff, cuff there. action. We won't talk about Meredith's wardrobe malfunctions today. Something about Two. a zipper and a button and. <laughs> a, lots of stuff. It was a disaster. <laughs> Full-blown horror show. But thank but you. Thank you. I, I took your compliment and turned it into a diss. Thank you. All good. We made it work. We want to thank you for joining us as always. For Jack Curry, I'm Meredith Morakovitz. We will see you tomorrow.